Welcome back to Phasmophobia. I finally got my uh, new head strap for my Quest 3. I picked up Bobo VR uh, M3 Pro. Hopefully the microphone isn't popping too much. I guess I'll find out. Uh, and I'm going to continue with my professional runs. I played Half-Life Alex a bit this morning and found my eyes starting to feel a little bit strained. Maybe because the lenses aren't in the same position as the HP Reverb, I'm not sure. There's also some dimming on the edges of the lenses, because the pancake lenses, there's a lot of bouncing and it can absorb a lot, a lot of the light, so the far edges are darker. But I'm glad to say that the headphones that come on the Quest 3 aren't bad. I'm not finding myself having a strong reason to uh, go with an alternate set of headphones. So for now, I'll just stick with default. Okay, repel, photo, and candle. Power's in the garage. By the way, what's this guy look like? Looks okay. I'd like to see a sunrise to see if it to see if it goofs up the colors in the skylight and the sky texture. I do feel taller. Am I calibrated right? I am a couple inches off the floor. So maybe maybe my calibration isn't quite right right now. A little taller than usual. Okay, so you're either a kitchen ghost or a utility room ghost. Let's say you're a kitchen ghost. Even though Half-Life Alex sounded good, the sound effects in this game do sound just a little bit tinty. I do like the hand controllers, though. Come on. Do not see a ghost orb. How about dots? You want to give me dots? You don't want to give me dots either. Sanity's still good. Maybe I should put down a few motion sensors just to make sure that it's still in the kitchen. You threw something in here. Oh, you're in here now? Really? Well, at least you're an EMF 5 ghost. Just check for a ghost orb real quick. <clears throat> Not seeing anything. 
Um. So where are you going now? The display on the Quest 3 is pretty good. I still have yet to see uh, what it does with color banding in darker environments, though. Uh, let's make sure I have the right microphone. How old are you? Where are you? You're in the hallway now? Nope, you're back in the dining room. We have fingerprints. How old are you? Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Where are you? What do you want? Are you in here now? What's going on? Seven in here. Whoops. Eight in here. It's just walking all over the place. Um, do we have a wraith? EMF, ultraviolet. I'm confused. It's not spirit box, it's not ghost orb. On the moon. What about the cursed object? Tarot cards. <sighs> Whoops. The big advantage the Quest 3, I would say, has over the HP reverb is just that the just about wherever I'm looking is clear. I don't. I mean, it gets slightly, slightly blurry outside of the center of the view. But the HP reverb, it's noticeably blurry if you look away from the center. Um, let's uh, get some dots up. Still don't know really where this ghost is hanging out. Hallway. Hallway. the dining room again.
and staying in one spot long enough to really give me a good read on temperature. Uh, photo of the ghost, repel, firelight. Have a candle. I'll take a smudge just in case. Take a can right in. Take a photo of you if you want to give it to me. No? Nothing? Stupid fear for hands. Just dropping everything. Now I can't even tell where I'm at. Where's the light switch? Grabbing everything except what I wanted. Drop my lighter. Lucky I lived. I'm, um. It can't be a Gorio. Because changed rooms, pretty clearly changed rooms. I'll try this again. Yeah, that's a gym. One problem with these controllers, though, is that this move flips me around on the right controller, and the stick on the right controller is a bit sensitive. So I'm changing my orientation a few times here and there without expecting to. All right, uh, so yeah, we definitely got a gin, and it's been hitting my sanity, so that's not good. 
So how am I going to get a photo of this thing? I could use the tarot cards. Oh, let me grab it again. Shit. Oh, good. Full card. That's a real... Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two. One. Okay, so I counted fast. Close enough. Let's try again. What? Crap. I want a ghost event. Seventy five percent sanity. Hundred percent sanity. Come on, give me a devil card. Uh oh, zero percent sanity. Oh, fool. Okay, fine, forget it. I'm done trying to get the ghost photo. I'll just leave. Goodbye, Jen. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. Eleven hundred. That took me twenty minutes. Okay, under Ridgeview. I'm so uh, used to doing zero sanity, zero evidence runs.
sorts of light switching. Possibly harmless, but be careful out there. I'm so used to doing zero sanity in Ridgeview. My first instinct is to just run and hide behind the fridge, but I don't need to do that right now. Repel, crucifix. So the sky here, I don't see a terrible kind of banding at all that I typically see on an Oculus headset. So maybe maybe the Quest 3 handles things a little differently, I don't know. If I get the monkey paw, I'll wish for sunrise and come back out. I didn't catch where the power was. No voodoo doll. Power is not upstairs. Since it's snowing outside, the whole house is going to be cold. So that'll get everything warmed up. Did I turn on the light? I don't remember turning on the light. So... You are down here, huh? That sound does not fool me. That little whomp sound. It's just an ambient sound, but I'm perfectly fine with that being the ghost room. We have tarot cards again. I will say that the HP reverb, though, in the center of the view is still clearer. But overall, all things considered, I do like the Quest 3's display more. Are you not down here? Whoops. Is that an EMF five? Almost thought I saw dots right there. Okay, so I think I will put down some motion sensors just so I can prove where the ghost is. How's my sanity? No, three. I want to know where the ghost is before I start laying down a bunch of salt. Not triggering anything. Sanity's still good. 
So, hmm. Guess I can go walk around the house with a thermometer. Twelve down here. Seven in the dining room. Twelve here. Nine here. Twelve here. So you're in here now? That was muffled. I heard a teddy bear giggle, but it was muffled. <laughs> okay, well he moved all the way up here. That's kind of impressive. Wait. No, maybe, maybe all this time it's been a wraith. Maybe while I was downstairs. It teleported downstairs and interacted a few times. The um, evidence for a wraith, CMF5 spirit box and dots. It also means a hunt will be dangerous because the wraith can teleport to me and start a hunt. How old are you? Where are you? What do you want? The paint. Okay. It's starting to look that way. So, M5, spirit box. I'm guessing we're dealing with a wraith. Which means getting photos is going to be tricky. But I can at least get the uh, ghost photo. By using dots. Go ahead, give me dots. Oh, 
Okay, fine. Do I have to go without a ghost photo again? I'll give you ten more seconds and then I give up on the ghost photo. Thank you for that ghost event. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. You are still in here, right? I'm guessing you are. Definitely. See there, I went. I flipped my location, or I flipped my orientation. All right. Uh. Hmm. What other objectives did I need? I know I'm dealing with a wraith. Photo, repel, crucifix. Hey, we're there. I'm going to carry a crucifix, that way the wraith can't teleport to me and uh, start a hunt that way. Um, hmm. So. Crucifix, photo, and repel. I'll still use the fridge as a hiding spot. Shouldn't you be trying to hunt, or at least burning a crucifix? That's odd. Sanity is low, right? Yeah. It's absolutely low enough to put in. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, shit, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. You want to burn it again? It's gone. Wow, so if I die, I'll come back. Back to your room with you. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't trap him in his room, it just makes him interact. More sanity, so now it won't hunt. Was that a devil card and I wasted my opportunity? Keep going, see if I can get a photo of the ghost. Nope. No photo of the ghost. Alright, I think I'm just going to say Wraith and go. And besides, waiting for it to hunt to try out the High Priestess card would take forever because now my sanity is 100%. So, I'm going to select Wraith because it didn't step in any salt and I'm out of here. And got another achievement. All right, last one. Let's go to Grafton. 
and I'll be back later with a weekly challenge. You're probably noticing that the um, percentage is a lot higher. The load percentage is a lot higher on the screen. The Quest 3 view puts the vanishing point right here instead of right here. So you have a lot of lower angle to look at and a lot less of the higher angle to look at because in, I guess, in normal life, our eyebrows also keep us from seeing up like that. I don't know if it's a good change or a bad one. Okay, EMF sensor and for the ghost. And the power is back there. Tarot cards again. I'm just getting lucky with the tarot cards. So now I have no idea where the ghost is. Ambient temperature in the house is 8.4. Where's the bone? I don't think I ever found the bone in uh, Richview. Did I? I was also a little worried about the Quest 3 um, having, here's the bone, having image distortion when the image changes a lot. Like if I'm sliding back and forth, there would be distortions in my view as I'm sliding, which you probably wouldn't see on the PC because the spectator screen is using um, a buffer rendering result rather than the actual view that I'm getting in the headset. Uh, but I'm not seeing any of that, so it makes it kind of nice. Okay, why did I come back out here again? No particular reason. I don't know where the ghost room is. Uh, let me take another sample. It's 11, 12, 11, 12. oh, it might be in here, there you go, because I just saw this uh, brush out of place. I do see some banding on the clouds, but it's nothing severe.
So far, no evidence. Sorry, I got a little distracted. I was thinking about something else. How old are you? Elderly victim. Okay, we have spirit box. We have ghost writing. Plenty of possibilities. And we have freezing, so it might be a Morai. Just turned off the power, and it just turned off the light. And it just cursed me, so I'm going to be losing sanity very quickly. Plenty of things to take pictures of. Pretty sure I found the bone upstairs. With this Bobo VR M3 strap, the original facial interface of the Quest 3 is a lot more tolerable. I don't feel like it's so hard on my face. Don't need a photo of the ghost. Dang. All right, let's get the power back on. Turn on the light so I can light up the chair a little bit in case I need it. Trapped in its room. It's a 
pull card. It's not a real hunt. Trapped in its room. Interaction, which doesn't work. Child. I believe it means I'm done. I still need two more photos. Maybe I can just get a couple candle photos. Go for a perfect. Don't think I'll need these. I will need the lighter. And I'll take the. Where's the camera? Take one more picture of that. All it's got to do is blow out the candle, and I can get an interaction foot and leave. Or I can do that. Works for me. Should be all the three star photos I want. Yep. Okay, it's a Mora. I got all my photos, got all my objectives, got the bone, I'm out. I'm not feeling any ice drain here. Maybe I'm just more used to this game. It's been a while. Well, wait a minute. Okay, so here I am seeing some distortion as I was sliding back and forth on the graph. So if the frame rate is less than 90, I'll get distortion. But not if not if the frame rate is good. Okay, 1490, I'm up to level 91. And that took 11 minutes. All right, so that's about a 50, 55 minute video. That's it for this professional run for today. I'll be back later with the weekly challenge. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.